the love in the world that you have for HaKadosh Baruch Hu is not enough to stop you from this sin. Now there have been some organizations that have asked me to work with them and I've rejected the offer. Main reason is they want us to cater to them. Meaning, <clears throat> censor our videos means don't tell people death penalty. Don't tell people it's absolutely forbidden. No olam haba, genom. Tell them it's not good. Tell them uh, it's inappropriate. You know, soften it up a bit. I said you already have plenty of other people lying to, to them. I'm not gonna. Jo- I'm not gonna join for that. Well, can't you just cut that part? No. Why? That's what works. That's what works in a sefer called Zot Briti, written by Talmid Chacham in Eretz Yisrael. He quotes the Stipler Gaon, the Stipler Gaon, Rav Kanievsky's father. The Stipler Gaon himself says, learning about the punishment and the horrors of the punishment of this particular crime and immorality is absolutely necessary in order for you to not sin. Why? All the love in the world that you have for HaKadosh Baruch Hu is not enough to stop you from the sin. Loving Hashem doesn't stop you from sinning against Him. Being afraid of Him does. Why would you be afraid if uh, we tell you that Torah says it's inappropriate? I had some LGBTQ guy telling me, listen, you're just making stuff up. Uh, God loves everybody. Where does it say that uh, this is not allowed? That it's all these bad things you say. So, you know, I provided him a few parashot. I think he fainted once he saw what Torah says about it. Until now, this poor young man thought that, oh, it's, it's just inappropriate. Maybe it's not the way of the world. It will still love you anyway. No, Habibi. There's no mitzvah to love you anymore. Once you, do, once you go that route, that's it. You are considered an enemy of God. You're considered an enemy of God once you go into these pride parades and all that stuff. You're an enemy of God. You do tshuva. We'll welcome you with open arms. Just don't get too close because we can't trust you yet. But the key is to know that you can't sugarcoat this subject because it's a topic that only fear will get a person to stop. Once a person has become spiritually healthy, has stopped for a while, has sanctified themselves, then you, you don't need all of the horrors being told to them on a regular basis. Once in a blue is fine. But in the beginning, only thing that works. Only thing that works is to know that there is, this is very damaging. To say it nicely. So when other organizations have come to us and have told us that they want to work with us, we've told them no. We're not interested simply because we're not going to change the way the sages taught this subject or the Torah in general. And just because you think that people are incapable of hearing the truth doesn't mean it's true. Why? I see the results. I see, Baruch Hashem, countless people that have done tshuva by following our shulim, transformed their lives when they first started, when they first started listening, literally, they were, they were so edgy and so like erratic and, and, and almost insane that you weren't even sure if you had speaking to a demon or to a person. But a few years pass and these people become tzaddikim. Literally. They, sometimes they tell me about how they pray or how they learn and how much they learn and what they did. And I'm like, wow, I'm jealous of you. You're amazing. Yeah, this is the same guy, this is the same girl that literally just a, uh, you know, uh, a, uh, a chalakeh away, three years away, you are, uh, you are literally this person that was like a stray dog. Today, you're like this kudosh kudosim, Sefer Torah, I want to lift you up on Sefer, on, on, on uh, uh, Shana Rabbah and, and on Simchat Torah. I want to lift you up. You're so amazing. How? Because... They heard what they needed to hear. They did what they needed to do. To do and Baruch Hashem, they became amazing. All of Am Yisrael can do this. All of Am Yisrael can do this. Needless to say, the non-Jews can also do it. And it also helps them. It also helps them. It also helps them a tremendous amount. Both physically and spiritually. 
And I have countless people that are not Jewish, that some of them are in the process of converting, some of them just want to convert but haven't figured out a way, some of them simply don't want to convert for different reasons or can't convert for different reasons, but they still want to be as holy as possible. And literally countless of them have done everything that I'm telling you have stopped, have sanctified themselves, have done tikkunim, have done donish, have done all types of things. Why? Because they want to be good. And when they are, they see results. Honesty, Honesty. Honesty. Help. help countless people get closer to Hashem, to Hashem. Because for the first time in their life, they hurt. They hurt. Honesty. Honesty, that's brutal. But is effective, but is effective.